Yeah. Hello students, welcome to lab module 4, DNA modeling. This lab, you will study about the structure of the DNA. So, for the objective of this lab, as I said so, you will understand the structure of the DNA. As we know that all living things are made of the cells, but what makes each one unique? You are different from a snail, from a tree, or even your best friend, because you have different DNA than those ones. So DNA, another word, is deoxylibonucleic acid. It is the hereditary material in every organism. It is the unique genetic code that is found in every cell, including your body. DNA is very small. You cannot see DNA structure even you use the powerful microscope. But for this lab, you will make a DNA model in this activity, for understanding of the DNA structure, please study about the DNA structure in your laboratory instruction books along with the making the DNA model. So before you start to make the DNA model, you should know some brief information about the DNA structure. DNA is the polymer made up of the subunits called nucleotides. Okay, and when you see the picture here, this is the picture of the nucleotides. The nucleotides are made of three different components, the deoxyribose sugar, the phosphate group, and the nitrogenous base. Okay, and there are four different bases in nucleotides. And these are cytosine, adenine, thymine, and guanine. Okay. And nucleotides are joined with the phosphodiester bonds for making DNA strands. The two DNA strands are held together by the hydrogen bonds between the bases on adjacent strands. Adenine always pair with the thymines by using two bonds or double bonds. And guanine always pairs with the cytosines by using triple bonds. Okay. This picture shows the structure of the DNAs. Then, as you can see that DNA has the helical structures. The helical structures of DNA is formed after joining of the two strands in the form of the anti -parallel. Now, let's see how you can make a DNA model. First, cut out 30 pieces of the DNA model. Here is the example of a piece of a DNA model. This side is a nucleotide from one strand, and this side is a nucleotide from another strand. They are held together with hydrogen bond. Each nucleotide is composed of deoxyribose sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. A piece of model can be divided into five different parts. Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, Part 4, and the middle part, which is part 5. For the first step, you cut along the dashed line over the sugar part and fold it up. Then, you fold up part 1. Then, for part 2, you fold down. Then fold 
part three up. And then fold part four down. After you finish folding a piece of model, you will get the structure like this. And next step, you need to cut the straw for making the base of the model and then insert the first base pair in the dot part just like in the picture. After that, place a piece of straw, then repeat the step again by inserting the second base pair in the dot part, then repeat the step until all 30 base pairs have been inserted and assembled. Then glue the 5 prime of the lower part to the 3 prime of the upper part at the same side. And as you know that DNA model is a, an anti parallel so for the other side, you need to glue the 3 prime of the lower part to the 5 prime of the upper part. You need to keep doing this until your DNA model is complete, just like this. Now you have finished your DNA model. Please use this DNA model to answer your exercise at the end of the lab instruction books. Thank you.